So hello, beautiful people. Um, I'm Prasanna Diana Manuela. I'm an inspirational speaker, feminine prosperity creatrix, and international best-selling author of the book, Elemental Woman. I support conscious and creative women entrepreneurs globally to awaken their heart's calling, lead with wisdom, and leave a legacy. And there has been no more important time than now to lead with wisdom and to really lead with our hearts. And I feel at this particular point in time and evolution where the earth is going through a lot of purging and individuals are going through lots of releases and fears and trauma, uncertainties, uh, for light workers on this path, it is even, it is the most important thing to step into our power and really shine our light. And today I want to introduce you to my dear friend, Lisa Fabry, who is a nutritionist yoga therapist from Adelaide, South Australia, um, in Australia. And um, Lisa and I have known each other for a very long time. We go back to raising our children together, homeschooling our children. Lisa has been uh, in the past run a vegan restaurant. Uh, she's been always very passionate about nutrition and health, exercise, yoga, meditation. And I've always very much enjoyed her knowledge and her passion. Um, and we've talked, we've had those conversations literally for years every time we get together. So today I wanted to introduce you to her uh, because I, I have some really important questions I would love to bring to her and how she can help us from um, um from a health point of view, to move through this time of coronavirus in the most graceful and safe way that we can possibly <laughs> navigate. Because here's the thing, there is challenges in life and there always will be, and this is like a challenging time, but I like to look at it as an opportunity because in so many ways, when challenging times like this ha um, happen and unfold, what it does is it highlights the gaps in our life or the places where we're out of alignment or the things that have dropped away that we should be reintroducing into our life. And so in, re in, in, you know, in actual fact, it's an opportunity for us to realign to our heart's calling, for, for us to really make health and vitality and self-care a, a very big priority in our life, the uh, same as nurturing relationships and bringing other components in that we may have neglected. So Lisa, I'm so pleased that you're here today. And I know you've helped me with my health, with, with your nutrition and even with yoga therapy. And I'm so grateful for you because we've been working for a few months because I really want to get my health to absolute um, the, the highest possible standard it can be so I can grow old feeling amazing all the time. So that's my plan is not to disintegrate, but just stay up. And that's why I started working with Lisa a few months ago and have very much enjoyed it. So hi, Lisa. So nice to see you today. Hello. Thank you. Thank you for that wonderful introduction. You really you really nailed it there. So many things resonated with my heart, what you just said. And uh, thank you for introducing me so nicely as well. Oh, you are super welcome and you and amazingly knowledgeable. So some of the questions that I've been thinking about that I would love to ask Lisa is, and also that I would, I mean, first of all, Lisa, but also I would love you as the audience to really ponder on those questions. How do you feel about the coronavirus? And here I want to go, you know, has your anxiety level gone up? And, and if so, how much has it gone up? So if your anxiety level was maybe, um, five out of 10 um, a week ago or two, two weeks ago, where is it now in relationship? Um, how, how, do you feel, how did you feel when you first found out about it? And just really acknowledge, because I see acknowledging is most of it is, is often we have to begin with acknowledging. Once we actually acknowledge how we feel, so often the anxiety can shift. So I want you to just pause for a moment and acknowledge how do you feel about it and how is your anxiety level or how much do you worry? You know, where is it at with you? And so I also want to ask a question to Lisa. 
what happened for you when you first found out about it? Mm. Mm. Yes, um, thank you for that um, emphasis on acknowledging how we're feeling because I think that the emotions that are arising for us all now vary very much from moment to moment, day to day, and it's our we have the opportunity now to allow those emotions to be and to not to press them down and say, well, I shouldn't be scared for the children's sake, or I, you know, I've got to make myself carry on doing this. No, you know, this is a time to really recognize how you're feeling and take care of yourself through that. So, um, and I think for light workers in particular, it can be a very up and down. So um, for me, like one day I feel absolutely grounded and yeah, I can, I can deal with this. You know, I am light. I am, um, you know, um, a steady force. I can support people. I know how to take care of myself. Hopefully I can help other people. And that feels amazing. And then the next day I'll wake up and I'll feel really heavy and I might go, outside you know we can still go outside here in Australia and I, I think I can feel the fear the general anxiety of the population <laughs> I mean, it will be the same for a lot of, for a lot of yeah. you and a lot of people watching I'm sure mm -hmm. so remember it isn't necessarily your feelings that are coming up you are helping to process them for the good of all so that's wonderful and that makes you feel good about it however I think it's also really important to protect yourself so if those feelings get too much you're taking in too many of other people's feelings you're watching too much news or hearing people worrying and gossiping then I think it's time to just draw back and and go into your own self-care there yeah so, I, I um, agree I couldn't yeah. agree more with what you said yeah so for me personally that's really about take staying a centered a, in my own space, um, informing myself from reliable sources. Like normally I do not watch the news <laughs> because I find it's, you know, it's very um, intrusive on my energy. Um, but of course, this is something that we need to be informed about. So I'm making sure I look at the reliable sources of information. Um, don't buy into gossip and um, doing what I know helps me feel my best, the most, um, the healthiest, the most grounded, the most energetic, which is just what I do all the time, but I've just basically committed to that even more, ramped that up even more. Yes, yeah, absolutely. And, and you know, it is so true. Um, I, I made the mistake the other day and I went shopping early in the morning. <laughs> That's a big mistake. Because <laughs> usually I've got these really strong routines in the morning to get myself into the day with a lot of self-care yeah. um, and I just thought you know what before it gets busy I'm just going to go to the supermarket and the fear cloud that was uh, surrounding the supermarket was so strong and it was like permeating it was like seeping in mm -hmm. and I was literally feeling anxious for hours after that and so what you said is so true because that was not my own fear that was the collective fear that I felt, the collective anxiety and worry around this issue, around the uncertainties. Because when I check in with myself, I myself feel not afraid. I feel that this is a very powerful time when, um, especially light workers, we have chosen to incarnate at this point in time to uplift the world. And so many of us have gone, uh, going, we've gone through purging and cleansing and many deaths internally, many rebirths for years years or even decades and so in a sense we've been made strong to be prepared for this moment and it is like now when a that most of the world is faltering and people who've been resisting change are really being shaken up um, it is our time to to take center stage really take center stage and the way i uh, talk about it is is to lean into the storm and mm -hmm. i've got this beautiful um you know i say always be like that wise old woman tree that is up on top of the hill mm -hmm. sort of looking the ocean and she has gone through cycles after cycles after cycles of death and reborn and she has she has experienced the blusterous the storms of winter and she's also experienced the the scorching sun in summer and she always stands with her branches high up towards the sky and her 
roots deeply in the earth. And that's how I see us today as light workers. It is not a time to shrink. It is not a time to contract. It's a time to open up, remain open, keep those wings open, keep that heart open and shine your light more than ever. Mm. So, um, <laughs> uh, and feel whatever there is. I think that is so true. So, so it's a real opportunity. So I would love you to help us today how we can take care of ourselves from a health point of view um, to, to so make, make sure we're strong, our immune system is solid. Um, that's kind of where I want to go. So what are you personally doing to take care of yourself, Lisa? Okay. Well, interesting question. Um, and I do want to make it clear that um, I do not have the answer to not catching the coronavirus or, you know, healing yourself from the coronavirus. Um, what I know is about building up the body's resilience, um, its immunity and its ability to bounce back from whatever comes its way. So that doesn't mean, um, you know, I'm not going to catch the coronavirus. Of course I am. I'm human. I could easily catch it. Um, but I do feel like my immune system is, is resilient and I have a really good chance of it being, um, you know, perhaps less serious than it might be for somebody else. Mild version, so, yeah. yeah. So um, I, do, I do think that um, people need to remember that their health is, um, it actually comes from the mind and the heart first. So um, the energy moves it and then that affects the body. So as a simple example of that is you're worrying about something, you have a thought about something, therefore it releases stress hormones into the body, which those stress hormones um, build up inflammation and end up reducing your immunity. So it, it's, it's very much about taking care of that aspect of yourself first. And that's where your own personal soothing practice is even more vital now. And usually people, this happens to me all the time, clients say to me, I haven't got time for all that self care right? <laughs> well, for the majority of people now, you have. And like you said, it's about refocusing on what we perhaps have been missing in our yes. life. So, um, of course, following the basic guidelines is essential, you know, the government guidelines of social distancing and hygiene and all of that and not touching your face. I've been really becoming really aware of how I always used to touch my face. So I'm now not doing that anymore. Um, but in terms of physical ways, how you can practically help to build up your immunity. So um, getting outside in the sunshine is really important. V vitamin D is really important for your immune system. And if you think you don't get enough, if you're not outside enough, that's a really good supplement to take. But being outside in the sunshine is wonderful. And walking and exercise itself is wonderful too. So as long as you can, please go outside. I think it's really sad when people actually are locked in their houses and aren't allowed outside. Well, even so, if we, you know, if you get to the point where we can't leave the house and say we're living in an apartment, you know, you can still sit by a window. You can open up your window. Um, you know, there's always... A few ways, star jumps. <laughs> you know, there's always ways you can do Absolutely. adjust. And, and it is a time that we're really asked to adapt we asked to adapt and i think in, in on a on a deeper level um we are asked to return back to down to earth ancient old practices as you said you know in the olden days we didn't we didn't all have cars so it was natural for us to walk miles every day that was normal yeah we're designed to do this we were designed to be outside we were under the stars under the moon under the sunlight um you know and and, and people were more robust in some respects you know because of that so we asked to return to some of those ancient principles Mm, 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 absolutely and of course there's so much online opportunities for yoga meditation uh, you know even high intensity interval training you can do that in your own house so for sure and there's lots of people putting out stuff 
to do at the moment, dancing, singing, playing music. So all of those things are amazing. Um, and as far as actually um, food goes, I think um, it was interesting that, of course, that's the thing that people have been most afraid of. You know, the, the, the basic need we have to eat. Um, of the, the paper. You know, the <laughs> <laughs> I don't get the toilet paper thing. Yeah, right. <laughs> But that's it. You know, when people think they can't buy food for a day, like at Christmas, oh. they go crazy. So, so this, like, we don't know if the food if the food is going to be there. The, the food will be there. That's going to be their major priority. So. Yeah, absolutely. But, but what I noticed in the supermarket myself is that the food that I buy is absolutely all there. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so there's fruit and vegetables. There's nuts and seeds. There's plant milks. Um, there's frozen berries there's tofu you know all of the things know, all the vegan oh, stuff's oh. there so you know you don't need to necessarily stock up on pasta pasta sauce um frozen desserts which seem to be the things that are going mainly um so but you i think eating more simply is the answer really and we don't necessarily need to eat as much as we think we do anyway so it could be an opportunity to um, just simplify our diet and really Especially focus on- if you on... leave in the house, if you can't leave the house, you don't need as much food. And that's right, you're not using <laughs> as much energy, but you get bored, so you think you want to eat. So I eat more the chocolate. answer to that is to fill yourself up with lots of healthy, fibrous vegetables and some fruits, um, and to eat you know, healthy fats like avocados and nuts and seeds, and that kind of food really satiates you. So instead of turning to the refined carbohydrates like pasta and chips and things, they're just gonna make you more hungry, honestly. Sure. So yeah, so those sorts of foods as a basis, and then we can throw in all the immune busting um, spices and herbs and things like garlic, especially raw garlic is awesome if you can tolerate it. Um, you can maybe mix it with a little bit of avocado or some honey if you eat honey. Um, turmeric, of course, we all know how good that is. Um, maybe garlic, I said garlic, sorry, ginger, turm um, chili, um, all the sort of um, things that have lots of vitamin A and vitamin C in orange and brightly colored vegetables. And zinc, of course, which is really excellent for the immune system. So that's in things like um, pepitas, and um, my mind's gone blank, I can't think, <laughs> but zinc. <laughs> well, you can, you, you can connect with Lisa. We, um, the post, uh, the, sorry, the link is below this um, video. And also, if you're concerned about your health and you feel like really it's, it's not up where it should be, um, your immune system is not as strong as it should be, then please make a time to speak with her. The link is below the video. So this is not a time to put this kind of stuff off at all. Well, can I just say, um, I just want to say that I do always offer a free 15 minute phone consultation. That's on my website. So anybody can, can do that. But at the moment, um, I'm extending that from just being one day a week to being all the time. Yeah, so um, if anybody wants to privately message me, um, we can do that. And of course, I do online full consultations as well. Excellent. Yeah, fantastic. No, I, I mean, I highly recommend that you actually have a consultation with Lisa because it is about zoning in, you know, because we don't all need to have this, uh, need the same healthcare plan. We're, we're very individual and depending on where, you know, which, which minerals are low, or which vitamins are low, or, you know, what part of our diet is really not there. Um, you know, what exercise might not be there. I think it's, I actually think it's something we all need. We just haven't made it a priority in our life. But um, to be honest, if you don't have health, you don't have anything. And I'm speaking from um, 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 experience because I <laughs> lived with a long-term illness mm. in the past. Mm -hmm. And so I treasure my health every single day I get up and I am grateful to have a body that is healthy that it, because it's the vehicle for my work. You know, if, if this beautiful temple and vehicle is not at its absolute optimum, I cannot serve on the level of I'm, what, I'm, what I'm asked to serve, mm. right? And it's just going to go up from here. We're, we're meant to be serving more, not less. So mm -hmm. I can't highly recommend, more recommend that.
Yeah. The other thing that occurred to me is, and that's the way I look at it when I'm working um, with women is, you know, self-love. So, I mean, we all, sorry, we all know we need self-care. All of us know we need it and yet we put it off. You know, we end up watching more stuff on YouTube or watching the news or going on Facebook or Instagram or whatever. We get distracted. And when you're looking at the hours each day you're spending, you probably would easily find time for self-care in there. But I think there is something about why we don't do self-care. And I looked at that um, a little while ago and I'm going, it is a lack of self-love. That is the root cause because if you truly love yourself and I'm really inviting um, conscious entrepreneurs and light workers to really um, and everyone to really go there to really up level your self love because when you truly love yourself you take care of self you can't it, it, you can't avoid that because if you love yourself you will check in with yourself every day and you will give to yourself what you need and of course there is a rippling effect mm -hmm. because if you're operating from that space of love because at the core you are love that is who you are um, it's a very different way of being in the world than when you're in anxiety or scattered or in your head or in, uh, in, your, in your worry energy. It's a very different way of existing. And so I'm also going to um, put a link underneath um, the video. I've created a five-day self-care revolution where you can integrate beautiful self-love rituals throughout the day. And the transformation is so profound because once you return to self-love, you automatically go, yeah, I definitely deserve to talk to someone like Lisa. I definitely deserve to take time to go for that walk once a day or to do the yoga or the whatever it is because it, it, it starts with self-love. Yeah, that's how I feel. Oh my, Prasanna, I gotta say, you have such a beautiful way of putting um, what feels like what's in people's hearts into words. And it's like, it, you know, it resonates so strongly with me. It's like, oh, of course, that is the truth. And I love the way that you can explain that. And I hope that other people really are feeling that as well, because, you know, it's, you nailed it there. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And I mean, after the transformation I've seen with women who've gone through um, just the five days has been huge absolutely huge and this and the, the beautiful thing is it's not complicated stuff mm. it's simple little things it is like that's why I cre you know that's why i actually wanted to put these five days together it's not like spending five hours each day on it mm. it's knowing oh, i can do that little thing in the morning and it'll make a difference and i can do yeah. that little thing late morning and it'll just shift me back into love and oh i could do that after lunch and it'll just bring the joy levels up and the sensuality and the pleasures in me and i could do you know it's just the tiny little things so if you you know i highly recommend that to return to, to actively self-love you every single day um yeah you can find the link below this video and i'll invite you to uh, go on that five-day journey you will not look back <laughs> I mean, I'm already doing all those things, but that sounds like so much. You're not doing what's in there. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> okay. It's like my own little, maybe some components, but there is this. Yeah. yeah it's my okay. own little neck in it. Anyway, you've worked with me before, so you. you. I definitely, that sounds like fun though. That sounds yeah, like I know. Fun. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. um, so what do you reckon? I mean, we've mentioned already a lot. Is there anything else you can think of, Lisa, what people can do to take care of themselves at this moment in time? Um, so, I mean, there's the guidelines, the social distances, the distancing. Yes, of course. Yeah. And don't touch your face. And you've already mentioned that. Mm -hmm. And we've also mentioned exercise. Uh, look at stress reduction. I don't think we've talked too much about that. Oh, no. One of the things. What about healthy gut, Lisa? 
Well, all of the things I said about the food is going to ensure a healthy gut, you know, high fiber diet, limited refined carbohydrates, limited sugar, uh, you know, unprocessed foods. And of course, yeah, you can take probiotics, you can eat fermented foods if they work for you. Um, those are really good as well. But I mean, a lot of people do have difficulties with their gut and they get entrenched because they've it's been there for so many years, people actually get used to it and they don't realize how out of balance they are. Um, so it can take, sometimes it can take help to figure out exactly what's going on with your gut because everybody's different. Um, so it's not just a matter of taking a few probiotics and it's gonna be better. But in general, that's the kind of lifestyle you want to be lead, leading and if you, you know, as you said before, if you do want specific help with your gut, <laughs> then call me for a bit of a... a Absolutely. Bit of a, I think that is, uh, now is the time. But sure. One other thing I wanted to throw in there is I really love using essential oils. I'm not an aromatherapist, um, but I've always been passionate, like Googling and making up my own little blends throughout my whole life. So recently I've been really looking at the, the um, antiviral, antibacterial, antifungal, um, immune enhancing essential oils and there are lots of them some of them are great for the the body you can make into hand sprays or mists for the air and then others are a little bit more irritating for the skin so you can use them for sprays for surfaces so i've made up a couple of little bottles a little surface spray a little hand spray a little roll on thing to sniff and you know it's actually really pleasant it's not it, do, it doesn't have the fear of the, the antibacterial soaps which actually full of ingredients that lower your immunity in the long run but um <laughs> so you know if people love essential oils then that might be a good thing to do while you're at home with a bit yes, of it i think that's a really nice mm -hmm. suggestion so a great idea so I'll also uh, you'll also find a link below this video about uh, a master alchemist that i have been working who's created the element woman um uh, anointing oils for each of the archetypes now I'm gonna she has a beautiful factory and she actually creates scents for others and she's got a bunch of stuff um, available so I'm gonna um, you will see this link below this video as well so you can just get to work straight away um, yeah I kind of feel like we've already covered so much today and um, we would love to be available again so we'll, we'll be um, posting more videos more information um, in the days to come look out for it um, yeah we really want you to stay as calm as possible um, and at my heart really I want to invite you to lean into your purpose more than ever because you're here for a reason and when you focus on your purpose what you stand for what your gifts are that you are bringing to the world um, your attention shifts from fear to that and what happens is fear contracts us worry contracts us and it scatters our energy but when we're actually focusing on okay what can i contribute how can i help how can i uplift mm. your energy expands and there's no room for worrying then mm. so just keep at that and if you wish to really dial that in um, you're not quite sure what your calling is and what your gifts are. Um, that you will find the link to prasanadiana.com also below this video. So this is a time to really stand in your truth, step into your power, and um, yeah, really embrace all of who you are and and do what it takes to do it. Whether it is to look after your health, establish a morning routine, um, getting a nutritionist to sort it out for you with you, getting a, a coach that can help you to work on this. It, it really is a time to lean into the storm, so to speak. Now, Lisa, do you have anything else to add? Oh, I think we've talked a lot today. And if anybody's still listening, congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry too much about toilet paper. That's one of the things. <laughs> you know what? I think it would be, you know, I think that uplifting thing is really important. And I think we need regular upliftment. Yeah. So um, I feel like it would be great for us to talk again about maybe some of the opportunities 
that we're being offered right now and you know to explore some of the some of the joy and um, even when the the negative the negative emotions arise um, you know how we can embrace that and, exactly. and move forward so exactly and to get started give yourself the gift of five days of self-love the link is below this video. So love and love. Thank you so much, Lisa. I love talking to you and thank you for all your wisdom. And we'll talk again soon. Lots thank of love you. and thank bye you for now. <laughs>